हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स गेट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ एरिया ऑफ ए ट्राइंगल एंड टू गेट द एरिया ऑफ ए ट्राइंगल लेट इस फर्स्ट रिकल द एरिया ऑफ रेक्टेंगल फॉर इज द एरिया ऑफ ए रेक्टेंगल एरिया ऑफ रेक्टेंगल मीन्स हाउ मेनी स्क्वायर यूनिट्स ए रेक्टेंगुलर फील्ड इज एनक्लोजिंग और हाउ मेनी स्क्वायर यूनिट्स आर देयर इन साइड द रेक्टेंगल दट इज द एरिया ऑफ द रेक्टेंगल सो दिस रेक्टेंगुलर पार्ट इज स्प्लिटेड इन टू स्क्वायर यूनिट्स नाउ हाउ मेनी स्क्वायर यूनिट्स आर प्रेजेंट इन साइड इट दैट इज इट्स एरिया दैट मीन्स वी हैव टू काउंट नाउ हाउ मेनी स्क्वायर यूनिट्स आर बट टू काउंट वी आर नॉट काउंटिंग वन टू थ्री फोर ऑल दिज स्क्वायर यूनिट्स वट वी आर डूइंग वी आर जस्ट कैलकुलेटिंग द लेंथ साइड हाउ मेनी स्क्वायर यूनिट्स आर देयर एंड विथ साइड हाउ मेनी स्क्वायर यूनिट्स आर देयर एंड जस्ट वी आर मल्टीप्लाइंग टू कवर द टोटल स्क्वायर यूनिट्स प्रेजेंट इन साइड द रेक्टेंगल दैट्स वाई द एरिया ऑफ द रेक्टेंगल इक्वल टू लेंथ इन टू ब्रेथ नाउ एरिया ऑफ ए पालेलोग्राम हाउ टू गेट द एरिया ऑफ ए पालेलोग्राम लेट एस टेक ए राइट ट्रेंगुलर पार्ट फ्रॉम वन साइड ऑफ द पालेलोग्राम एंड जस्ट एड इन अनदर साइड नाउ वी आर गेटिंग ए रेक्टेंगल and already we have learned what is the area of rectangle that is length into breadth but now when it's but when it's a parallelogram there is no length and breadth now it becomes the base and height and the area of parallelogram is base into height but what is the base and what is the height in a parallelogram the base means any one of the side of that parallelogram and height is the perpendicular drawn from the opposite vertex so this is a pair of base and height and uh, when any one of the side is base that means another side also we can take as base when that side we are taking as base that means the height is the altitude drawn from the opposite vertex to the base so in this way we are getting two pair of base and height in any parallelogram and when we are getting the area of this parallelogram we have to multiply any pair of the base and height so area parallelogram is base into corresponding height now let's discuss the area of a triangle do you know any triangle is half part of a parallelogram let us take one parallelogram and if the diagonal is drawn then the diagonal is splitting the total parallelogram into two congruent triangles and whose areas are also same so now what is the area of a triangle already we have learned that area of parallelogram is base into height so half of the parallelogram that is a triangle that means the area of triangle is half base into height so area of a triangle is half base into height in this triangle abc let us discuss how we are getting the area now what is the base and what is the height in this triangle any one of the side is the base we can take any one of the side as base here the base may be ab may be bc or may be ac now when we are taking the sides as base then what are the heights when we are taking ab as base the height is the altitude or the perpendicular drawn from the opposite vertex so now cd is the height so to get the area of this triangle we have to multiply half ab into cd now we can take another pair bc as base when bc is the base we have to draw perpendicular from the opposite vertex a to the bc now ae is the another height let us take another side ac as base when ac is base 
then the perpendicular drawn from the opposite vertex b is the height or altitude now we are getting three pair of base and height in any triangle so when we are getting the area of triangle we have to multiply the we have to take the corresponding height of the base so in a triangle irrespective to the types of triangles the area of triangle depend on the base and height now let's discuss in a another example let us take one pair of parallel lines and in this parallel line on one side let us take one line segment ab and another side let us take some points one point c and let us join ac and cb we are getting a triangle now another point d let us draw ad and db which is a triangle now another point e ae and eb that means aeb is one triangle another point f afb is another triangle now all these four triangles are of different types still they are having the same area do you know why because they are sharing the same base and the heights are also same because we have taken the parallel lines that means from d to a c to um, all those perpendicular lines or those altitudes are same in this all triangles so irrespective to the types of triangles we are getting here all those areas are same so all these are the concept of triangle hope everyone understood thank you